Oh my God. So like what, talk, talk to me about the significance of family for Jorge and, and all that. And also just what was it like working with her? <laughs> like what that experience was. You and I are cut from the same cloth, my friend, because uh, most, you will not believe this unless you really know me, but everyone who's known me since I was 12 years old knows that um, everyone has their one pillar, their lighthouse, their artist that they emulate, that they love. Daphne Rubin Vega has been mine. I've seen all What happened when you found out? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead. I'm so excited for you, go on. <laughs> Tell your story. I'll be over here if you need me. No, man, it's cool. Um, I don't know. I just find her to be the most original thing. She's an Afro-Latina, and she's so versatile. She sounds like no one else. She acts like no one else. She's been a part of two original Pulitzer Prize winning companies, Rent and In the Tropics. She's also been in three Pulitzer Prize winning plays on Broadway, if you count Streetcar Named Desire. She, she's just so... Powerhouse. Incredible. Absolutely. I've seen her do Shakespeare. Yeah. She played the nurse in Romeo and Juliet with Elizabeth Olsen. Mm -hmm. And she did it like, the nurse can be kind of like a stock character, like an old lady. She played her like a sexy, sassy New Yorican nurse. And it was it was brilliant. And so there had been some whispers, like in the writer's room, like Jorge has a big relationship with his mom, so we're casting the mom. And I looked at Michael Grassi and Roberto, and I said, there's only one person you have to cast after him, Bega. And they were like, ooh. <laughs> Yeah, we love Daphne. And I was like, perfect, that's great. You need to cast after me, Vega. Um, and then they never talked about it again. Like, I had kind of been like, so how's it going? They just like, so I, I thought that I was a little bit overstepping my bows and, right. and it wasn't going to happen. On the first day of the table read, there she is. And she just is like this. <laughs> because I was her super fan. Like, I used to go to all her shows as a kid. Like, I'd just be at the stage door. I'd sneak backstage. I snuck out of my, my house when I was in high school to go to her gig at midnight at the Zipper Factory. I've got pictures to prove it. <laughs> like, I just was, I just adore her. I adore her, her music that she makes on the side. And, like, so to have that moment to actually, it, that's a full circle moment for me. <laughs> and we get on so well. It, it's amazing to meet your heroes. And it's even more amazing when your heroes are really generous to you, yeah. and they're kind. Because I've met some heroes, and you know, they weren't so nice. Right. And I've met some, like Daff, and it's just, she's like my a, a second mom to me now. Now she texts me all the time, and she's giving me advice. She's like, don't let the vampires get, you know, she's so amazing. How, how I know. How